Samsung tablet and ED13 customer want to upgrade it to the newer Android so let's see what's so this one it's stuck at the 4.1.2 so let's try to upgrade it we're gonna need to root the device then we're gonna need to install the recovery so this is the files we're gonna need to use I'm gonna include the link and the, the download link in the description so Samsung USB driver if you don't have them already installed on the computer we're gonna need to uh, to, ans to get the Odin to install some uh, software we're gonna need the CF Auto for the root and we're gonna need the TW RP to install the recovery uh, partition then the image of the Android that's we're gonna install plus the open GAPPS for the, the Google uh, Apps as a app store so all these files you're gonna see them in the description we're gonna boot to the download mode then the power button and the volume up <coughs> then I think this is the volume down and this is the volume up so we are in the download mode so we connect the tablet to the computer. We're going to open the Odin. So this is the file that we need and we open the Odin if you go to the CF auto root you're gonna find the Odin in it so you open the Odin then select the file that uh, the CF file save it in desktop so here is the CF file then we start click to open then we go to start so the device routing now yeah. after is uh, the device put it in the download mode open the Odin select this file here the root file and that's it and uh, the device is going to be rooted by itself so Let's go to the next step. So next, we're going to need to install the TWR, the recovery partition. So we put the tablet again in the loud mode. So we go to Odin. and we select this one here and we select the T W R P go open and we go to options go auto and we go start so after the flashing done it take like a couple minutes we're going to need to reboot to the recovery partition by holding the power button and the volume down till we see the Samsung logo then we leave the power button and we keep holding the volume down till you see this recovery partition here so 
so when you are here you are good to go so next you're gonna need the SD card so you can use the SD card to transfer the files or you can use the tablet to transfer the files so let me show you on the SD card so plug it to the computer So on the SD card, we're going to transfer these two files. Yeah, this one. Or we can get them. Yeah, I put you a couple files, different ones, if you want them. So this one and this one, we transfer them to the SD card or you can transfer them to the tablet let me show you how i get you so the time that's been going to be transferred so here is the tablet and that's the internal storage and you transfer them to here so this or this do one of them you don't need to do both of them if you go to the my computer and you don't see your device here this is what you need to do just go to this PC Go to manage, go device manager, and device manager, you're going to see one of the devices with the yellow triangle. So just right click to it and go to update driver. Select here and if you see this one mtp device you're gonna need to select mtp usb device for the computer to detect the tablet in a right way and it will show in the in the computer here so look like the the sd card is already transferred the the files plus the computer is done transferring to the tablets So I installed the card and let's show you this option. And we go here to install. If you transfer the files to the to the tablet, you select the internal storage, go OK. And is here. You install this the this one first when it's done go back and install this one so if you select if you use the SD card so just go select storage we go to SD card go OK then we select the same thing we select the top one first this one here so we select the top one first when it's done installing we select the second one and we click install again so after the install done the both files we go to wipe we click wipe and we wipe everything uh, all the old files then we go to reboot so i'm going to install the files and come back 